What you guys got another video here for you. Windows 11 is now officially released to everyone to download or install or upgrade onto their computer. So the first thing you want to be doing if you've got a computer is run the compatibility checker on the PC to make sure it's compatible to run Windows 11. This is important because if your PC is not compatible, you can't run Windows 11 and you'll have to continue to use Windows 10 up until October 14th, 2025. So once you run the compatibility checker, it will run through a bunch of checks on your PC to see whether it's eligible for upgrade for free from Microsoft. So if you've got Windows 10 and your PC is compatible, you will get the update rolled out to you when Microsoft send it through the upgrading channel. So basically all you need to do is check for Windows updates on a regular basis and this will tell you whether your PC is eligible for an upgrade to Windows 11. Next, if you're on the Windows Insider program and you're on the beta channel like me, then what you'll need to do is go into the Windows Insider program here. You can see that I'm in the beta channel and it's now recommending that you go into the release preview channel if you're on the Windows Insider program. Also, you can check for updates to make sure there's updates available. If there's no updates, then you can just leave it as it is and eventually you will get the update rolled out to you. Now, if you're on Windows 10 and you're trying to upgrade to Windows 11 and you're not seeing the free upgrade in your update section of Windows 10 when you run for check for updates, then be patient because Microsoft are doing it in, in different phases, phase one, phase two, for different criteria, i.e. new computers will be updated first and as you go down in age, they will be released last. So just be patient. If you can't wait, I'll show you how to get around it. So first off, head over to the link in the video description, which says download Windows 11, and you're going to have three options. Now, as you can see here, if you're on Windows 10 and waiting for the free upgrade, Microsoft recommend that you wait until you're notified through the Windows update program process. So you just have to wait. And before you upgrade, you want to run the PC health checker on your PC. There is the Windows 11 installation assistant, which sometimes can speed the process up. You can download this tool here. Before you start, you can see here there's a bunch of information you can read through, and then you can download the tool and update Windows 10 to Windows 11 using this method here. If you're on Windows 11, it's not going to work. It's basically only for Windows 10 users. So you can download this tool and run it on your system and it will check your system to see whether you're eligible for a free upgrade to Windows 11. You can see here, thank you for updating to the latest version of Windows 10. You can see there's a little mistake there because it thinks I'm on Windows 10, but I'm on Windows 11. The next option you've got is create Windows 11 installation media. This is the Windows media creation tool, which you can now download and create a bootable USB flash drive with Windows 11 on it. So the media creation tool has now been officially released by Microsoft for Windows 11. So they've got two versions, the Windows 10 version and the Windows 11 version. So if you want to create your USB flash drive with Windows 11 on it, then download the tool right here. It will come down in the bottom left hand corner you can then open this tool up and I'll quickly show you and speed through this process. So getting a few things ready, you should see the Windows 11 set up up on the top left hand side here. And then you'll get the terms and conditions, accept those. Then you'll get select a language and addition. And you can do that here. Use the recommended options for this PC. If you're installing Windows 11 on the PC that you're creating the bootable media on, then you can leave this check mark in. If you want to use it on another computer, you need to remove that check mark. Click next. And now you can choose the USB flash drive. You can also download the ISO file from here as well, but we'll just check the USB flash drive. It needs to be at least eight gigabytes or more. Click next. You can see it here. Any data on that drive will be erased. So bear that in mind. And we can now click on the next button and this will start to create a USB flash drive with Windows 11 on it. You, once that's completed, you'll be able to basically boot to that USB flash drive and do a fresh install of Windows 11 on your machine, if that's what you want to do. So you can see it's downloading the Windows 11, then it was creating the media, 
and then that's it it's finished we can click finish off there and you've now got a bootable usb flash drive your third and last option here is to download the windows 11 disk image this is your iso image you can do it from this way as well now this is not going to be the insider preview version this is going to be the official release from microsoft select windows 11 read all this information here and basically if you wanted to do a bootable flash drive using say rufus or something like that you can download the iso image and create that and then basically uh, boot to that usb flash drive and install uh, windows 11. so you can see here it's selected product language so we need to do that right here so just choose your language that you want to use there's plenty of them available here so i'm going to choose english and then click confirm and this will then allow us to download you can see here 64 bit download download this iso and it will come down in the bottom left hand corner and once you've got that iso this is it here if you're wondering what version has been released by microsoft you can do a quick check we can mount this iso you don't need to do this step i'm just doing this so you know exactly what iso they've released to the general public i can use this bit of code here and paste this into uh, the powershell just going to change the drive letter here to something on my system and type PowerShell in the search box and open PowerShell up with administrator and paste it in. See my drive letter is F, push enter, and it will tell me the version and service pack build on here. You can see it's 10.0.22.000 and the uh, service pack build is 196. If I do a Wimver on my PC here, uh, on this PC that I'm using, which I was in the beta channel, you'll see that the number is exactly the same. So let me just do this and show you. You can see this is the beta version here that I was using, and it's exactly the same number. So these seem to be the versions that they've released to the general public. And you can see I'm running Windows 11 Pro there. So that's basically how you can tell what version the ISO image uh, that Microsoft have released. Now, if you're going to be running Windows 11 on your system, you need to make sure that your system is compatible with Windows 11, and you'll need to make sure that you've enabled a bunch of features inside the BIOS. And I've made a video showing you how to do that, so I'm not going to cover that again today. Check my video playlist on Windows 11, and you'll see how to do it. Now, another thing I just wanted to point out is there is no rush to upgrade to Windows 11. You don't need to rush out and start upgrading from Windows 10 to Windows 11. It is a free upgrade, but Windows 10 has still got a long life cycle up until uh, October 14, 2025. So you've got plenty of time to continue to use Windows 10 on that system. So whether you want to stick with Windows 10 for the foreseeable future until the end of its life cycle, or you want to get the free upgrade to Windows 11, the choice is yours. Now I've been using Windows 11 since the beginning, since they released it, and I can say that I've had no major issues. But now it's being released to the general public, we'll soon see how stable and how good it is with the masses that are going to be using Windows 11 in the up and coming weeks. So as and when Microsoft release updates for Windows 11 to people, you might start seeing some problems arise. There might not be, I'm hoping there isn't, and hopefully it goes a lot more smoother than what Windows 10 did. So maybe hang off from upgrading to Windows 11 just for a little while, just to see how the land lies with Windows 11 in the up and coming weeks. There's no rush to upgrade straight away. You've got plenty of time. And remember, if you do upgrade, you can always roll back if something goes wrong. Always back up your data before you roll out any sort of upgrade or roll back your PC. You should always back up your data and never rely on Windows to save your data for you whilst upgrading. Because if something goes wrong, it's going to be your responsibility because it's your data. So at the end of the day, you're responsible for your own data, not Windows. So back up before you upgrade from Windows 10 to Windows 11 in case something goes wrong. Anyway, that's going to be about it for this video. Let me know in the comments section below down there whether you're going to be upgrading straight away or whether you're going to hold off for a few months, or whether you're just going to stay with Windows 10. I'd be interested to read your comments. 
My name has been Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk. Just want to say a big shout out to all my YouTube members who have joined my YouTube members group. I really appreciate the support. If you haven't joined our Discord server yet, the link is in the video description. Download and install Discord and join our Discord server. It's a growing community and there's people over there that can help you with your computer problems or maybe you've got questions or maybe you just want to uh, have a chat. I shall see you over there. Thanks again for watching. Bye for now. Thank you.